Hey everybody, it's Dr. J, and today, yesterday, we will be talking about enthalpy. Let's talk chemistry. So everybody, enthalpy, enthalpy, or if you see H, all right, this basically means this is the sum of internal energy of a system, okay? And the product of pressure and the volume in a system. So a key thing we want to understand with enthalpy, this is you know, think of this as being energy, right? Or uh, heat, you know, people might refer to it as heat. Uh, now, key thing about enthalpy, enthalpy or H, right, is a state function, okay? So it's a state function and a pressure is constant. So these two things are gonna be very critical. If it's not, if the pressure ain't constant, it's not gonna be enthalpy. And then because it's a state function, we only care about the final and initial uh, conditions in this case, right? So, Enthalpy can be referred to as either the heat of reaction, right, or the change in enthalpy, right? If you hear these terms, they're the same thing. They're talking about enthalpy. And because of this, we find our enthalpy by this, right? Change in enthalpy equals the products, our final conditions, minus our reactants, our initial conditions. And just to remind everybody, when we were talking about endothermic and exothermic, right, this makes sense because when our Delta H, right, or our enthalpy is positive, that means that our heat is being absorbed by the system. Therefore, we have a cold reaction, an endothermic process. And if our delta H is going to be negative, that means that heat will be released by the system. Therefore, what are we doing? We have an exothermic process, right, a hot reaction. Now, we can take this a step further, and we can show this equation here. So this equation here tells me that, well, my enthalpy equals our internal energy plus our pressure times our volume, right? As mentioned with the definition up here, all right? This is it translated in the math form, okay? So we all got to remember, right? Chemistry is math. Remember that when I say that chemistry is math. So we break this down. H, enthalpy, is equal to our energy plus our pressure times our change in our volume as well. So if we remember from earlier, right, we got to understand this, right? Energy, energy, right, is equal to Q plus W, right? Remember, Q is our heat plus our W, which is our work. So we can actually substitute that in for our energy and that's Q plus W. Now from here, right, here's another substitution. If you have your pressure times your volume, that is actually going to be work as well, okay? And what we see here is that our Ws will get rid of themselves. And in fact, what we need to realize going forward is that enthalpy equals to Q. So heat is enthalpy. And we got to understand that heat is as well energy, right? So we're just talking about energy. Everything we're talking about with enthalpy is all related back to energy, okay? So we can understand that enthalpy is, in fact, the measure of heat exchange under constant pressure. And this is enthalpy.